It's like Christmas morning. If Christmas took place in the middle of a blazing hot summer. Bike? Electricity? Getting any clues yet? I think we'll start with the small parcels. I cannot see if my face is in the camera or not, but, um, yeah. See what we've got in parcel number one. Right, we have some various tools. Now, parcel number two, I can just about see it on the camera. Let's see what we've got in person number two. Well, let's, uh, this is take two. Let's see what's in here. We have a battery and a charger. It's smaller than I thought it would be, but I'm sure it'd be good enough. Here's the big one. I'm excited about this. So, come on me as we open this box and see what's inside for the first time. Don't know why my camera's screen is going dark and bright, but, um... Yes. The box here, we'll have a look at what's in there in just a moment. Sure, that's to hold the battery in place. Some more stuff here. I'm not sure what all that stuff is. And of course, the main attraction. Wheel. It's gonna need a bit of air. So if I just point the camera at it. Well, it's time to put all of this onto the bike. Installation instructions, we don't need no stinking instructions. I really don't know what all this stuff is. It's got some wires on it. Okay, so what we got here is a couple of handlebar grips. Um, this thing here that holds all the wires together, I don't know what that's called. And these two things form a tachometer, so you knows how fast the bike's going. So, as all these little magnets go around, it's picked up by this little sensor here, probably a Hall Effect sensor. That goes to the electronics. Got some cable ties to tie everything together. And the stupid camera is drifting down again. And I don't know what this bungee strap is for, but I'm sure that will come in useful. And here's the holder for the battery, so I won't have to manufacture one of those. Just made sure the wheel is the right size, and indeed it is. I know I've got it the wrong way round at the moment, but that's not really going to matter. What we got in this box, which should be like the controller and stuff. Of course, every time I'm trying to shoot something, the camera keeps drifting down and drifting down and drifting down. I look at the camera again and... It's not even been shooting what I've been looking at. Yep. More controller. Wires. Um. Brakes. Battery gauge. Plug. Some other bits and pieces. Right. 
Well, here's all the bits with wires on them, excluding the motor. I may be wrong, but I think this may have regenerative braking. Because on this brake lever here, I can see a wire coming off, and there's also one coming off the other one. And they're both going into the same little, um, whatever it was, actually, I think it was this one. Of course, I'm not saying it definitely does. This is the throttle control. I was open in the camera, so vroom vroom. And I've already made quite a few customizations to this bike. I mean, put a pair of BMX handlebars on there because I cannot stand having the saddle higher um, than the handlebars. It's a really uncomfortable position to ride. No trouble is I only have one brake on this bike, so I don't quite know what I'm going to do about those, but I'll come up with something. Right, so we have a really weird angle that makes the wheel look like it's smaller than it should be. But I can get the other wheel out of using this much. Hope the new wheel fits, it should do. Also, another customization I made to this bike is I took all the gears off. Just took them off, shortened the chain, and the rest, as they say, is history. Oh, I've got to detach the brakes, or otherwise they'll be in the way when I try to remove the wheel. I believe this, I've got like three adjustable wrenches, and I don't know where any of them are. I just have to use a pair of pliers to go back to the old method I used when I was a kid. Unscrew this wire. So, I mean, cable, not wire. Step those there so I don't lose them. Yeah. Old wheel out. New wheel in, hopefully. Chain one thing. So this might take a little bit of puffing and panting while I get this in, so I'm just going to force cap. Well, that was a little tougher than expected, but that's in now. So, I think the next thing to do is I'm going to wire up the controller. Okay, well, it's starting to look more like an e-bike now. I decided to put the controller right there. It's, at the moment, only tied on with the cable ties. All the wires coming out here, and they're going to connect to all the different bits and pieces. Well, that's in there now. Next thing I've got to do is... Uh, touch these brakes and that's going to be a bit difficult because I'm going to need to get these old grips off so I can take the old brake off put these new brake levers in and uh, yeah okay well they came off a lot easier than I thought fortunately being made out of rubber I could just roll them off so I've got two bare handlebars ready for the new brake levers and the throttle and everything else Okay, now we have two bare handlebars. I've got to take the old brake off. I've got to wire all this stuff up now. Run into a little tiny problem. This little disc here is supposed to go on the pedal shaft itself, and this thing is supposed to be behind that. Trouble is, I do not have a wrench set, so I cannot get this pedal off. So I'm hoping that this thing will just be able to go without having to use this. Well, we is almost done. I'm going to tidy the wires up, but got a slight problem. So, this connector is where the battery connects into the main control board, um, controller rather. And this is the connector on the battery. Yeah. 
think I'm gonna have to fabricate something here. Well, back in the room here, with the battery, or next door beep incessantly. And this is the solution that I've come up with. So I've simply taken this connector, this fuse holder, and soldered them directly into the battery. So now this can be connected. And look, it's heat shrink tubing, not tape. It's been a grueling day, I must say, but it is done. There is one small issue, and that is, um, I'm not sure if it's going to work off that battery because I ordered a 48 and they've given me a 36, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work on 36 volts instead of the 48 volts it's supposed to have, but yeah, we'll see. Also, I'm not sure if it'll work without the pedal assist um, sensor, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, the battery's in. There was a bit of a spark as I connected it, which is a little bit concerning. Now, I haven't charged the battery yet, so it's still as it was when I got it. So, let's see if this thing works. Okay, we have a light. It says empty, but I would expect that with this battery. The question is, can this run without the pedal assist? If the wheel turns, oh yeah, totally. All right, I'm gonna disconnect the speed limit. I can get that disconnected. See if that goes any faster. Oh yeah, it's alive. Question is. Does it have enough strength to move my tremendous overweight bulk? Well, at 36 volts. Well, okay, it's time for his first test run. Just at the end of the path and back. Okay, here it goes. Oh man, that was so much fun! I think we can say this is 100% success. Well, that's how, that's how well it works on 36 volts. 48, this thing's just gonna zoom. Now, Mum being the paranoid that she is, just turn it off, don't want to wear, run down the battery any more than I have to, insists that I wear a helmet. No, um, actually, um, I'll just do it for the first few times and then I won't bother anymore. I don't even know how to get this damn thing on. I don't even know which side is the front and which side is the back, to be honest. I'm I think this is the front, I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to work this out. Now, I can wire this thing up, but I cannot figure out how to put this helmet on. Oh, it certainly works. Brakes needed a little bit of tightening up, so I've done that. There's only one more thing this bike needs. Now it is complete. I've been meaning to put these lights on it for quite a while. The battery is charging. And well, I think that's all for now. So yeah, until next time, goodbye.